Back with us here on Power Breakfast and on to the earnings front now. And the big boy HDFC Bank delivered a positive surprise on the net interest margin front in the fourth quarter. The bank has also made a provision of 10,900 crores to cushion the balance sheet from any potential shocks. Abhishek is here to tell us more. Abhishek, take us through how the numbers work. Well, the numbers were uh, surprisingly positive, especially on the net interest margin, wherein the bank has actually surprised. Uh, Street was factoring a flat net interest margin to negative or a declining net interest margin. However, the net interest margin has actually improved by four basis points, despite the strong deposit growth that they have had. And they have built a buffer in terms of provisioning uh, from the additional money that they got uh, from stake sale in SDFC Credila, as well as tax redemption. So what has worked is that uh, net interest margin has has improved sequentially. They've made a total provision of 10,900 crore, which has actually strengthened the balance sheet against any shocks. A uh, rundown of uh, ESDFCL uh, non-individual uh, loans continued. They have declined more than 18% quarter on quarter. The liquidity coverage ratio, one of the key factors, has actually improved for them to 115% versus 110% in the previous quarter. Asset quality has also improved marginally. Gross and pay ratio is down two basis points sequentially. The fee income is up more than 15% quarter on quarter and HDB Financial, they have reported one of the lowest gross NP ratio that you are seeing in last 18 quarters coming in at 1.9% versus 2.25% in the previous quarter. What has not worked is that the uh, RWA risk weight assets to advances uh, ratio that for third quarter in a row has actually increased. So uh, if you take a look from Q2 level of 90 to 93%, it's now above 99% RWA to advances ratio. Core Operating profit uh, has declined quarter on quarter due to employee expenses. Corporate loans have declined on a sequential basis. Management did mention that they have gone cautious over there where the rates are not favorable. So there are one-offs, employee expense of uh, 1,500 crore and provisions of 10,900 crore, which are one-offs in this quarter. In terms of poll, the NI is ahead of our poll. However, the pad is below our poll. Back to you. And HDFC Bank will determine which way the Nifty moves this morning. Thanks a lot, Abhishek, for this comprehensive review. And in the management conference call post the quarterly earnings, Sashidhar Jagadishan, the MD and CEO of HDFC Bank, spoke about the bank's key focus areas in the medium to long term. Listen in to what he had to say. The key focus over the medium to long term, the medium as I define it between two and three years, is to focus on improving our profitability metrics defined as the ROAs and the earnings per share. To achieve that, what is key is to ensure the most important focus is the sustainability of our deposit franchise, especially the retail deposit franchise. And that can, that's going to be achieved not because of any shortcuts that we can take. Yes, there is a price environment, there's a market intensity, there's a competitive environment that is there. That's a reality. But how do we ensure that we are... Um, on par with some of the key players in the market and we don't try and overprice ourselves or don't bid for some of these deposits is, is the strength of the franchise. We will continue to invest in distribution, in people and technology. In fact, uh, our operating leverage will be uh, harnessed over a, over a period of time to uh, using our enhanced tech and digital uh, infrastructure. We've always emphasized, not just now, but for a long period of time, that we are not a quantity player, whether for liabilities or whether for assets as well. Our focus is on quality, which is a balance between risk and margin. The management there of HDFC Bank, but let's